Rising out of the Judean desert in Israel, there's this gaunt, and yet there's this majestic, large outcropping of rock that forms a, a massive plateau that's known as Masada. Now, as you drive along the, the western shoreline of the Dead Sea, it's easy to spot this peculiar promontory that looks sort of like a, a mountain island amidst a, a barren terrain that has this narrow pathway that snakes its way up from the base to the mountain top some 1,200 feet above uh, to the peak. And the word Masada is a Hebrew word and it's often translated as stronghold or something like fortress. It's found several times in the Old Testament both in 1st and 2nd Samuel and in the Psalms and it refers to a place where, where David fled during a time of crisis and also it's used in the imagery and poetry of the Psalms. Masada truly is a thrilling place to visit. It's thrilling to me not only because of the connection to King David but also because of the vivid imagery of what a stronghold looks like and and how that helps us in understanding more about the power of God. But Masada is also important because of the history that's associated with the Jewish people and their own fight for freedom against the Romans during the latter part of the first century. Today, Masada is a part of the National Parks Association and it's become one of modern day Israel's greatest symbols of courage and defiance against tyranny. So for me, this place represents not only the, the courage of a people fighting for freedom, but it also brings to mind many lessons about faith, about hope, and the struggle of humanity to, to be a people, and the struggle for all of us to walk by faith.